It looks okay to me. It looks okay to me. Hi everyone, so as you can tell by the title of this video, in today's video I really wanted to share my April favourites with you simply because I have kind of been writing them down and I just really wanted to share them with you. I'm not going to do monthly favourites every month. I think it'll be more like every other three months or something like that. Obviously I don't really do these anymore. I probably won't be doing one every month simply because I just don't use a lot of products, new products that I would like to try. I just don't often do that and also I just I want to make other videos so I'm probably going to do one monthly favourite every three months. April favourites. Let's get to beauty products first because even though I'm not a beauty guru I do wear a lot of makeup and my first makeup favourite is a foundation that I am actually wearing today. I have a bit of an issue with it that it doesn't look the best on camera. It might look okay when I go to edit this video but who knows. So I I, today I am actually wearing this foundation and this is Rimmel London's Lasting Finish 25 Hour Breathable Foundation and naturally I am in the lightest shade 010 Light Porcelain. I have been pretty much loving this and using this pretty much every single day. There was a time where I was starting to use the Wake Me Up foundation, but I really didn't not I really didn't like that. And the sun has just come out and messed up my lighting. I have been absolutely loving this foundation. It feels very lightweight on and it doesn't really feel like I'm wearing it, like I'm wearing foundation. Hence why I really like this. And if you are looking for a foundation, a drugstore foundation that it's quite easy to use, easy to blend. I mean, for me, I do have this like dry patch of skin around my nose, which it like collects where my like foundation and concealer collects if, when I put it on. My second makeup favorite of the month is this Makeup Revolution palette. Next makeup favorite is this Makeup Revolution palette, and this is the Reloaded Iconic Vitality palette and I am actually wearing some of the shades today I don't know if you can tell I have been pretty much re reaching for this palette every single day that I want to wear eyeshadow I have so many different eyeshadow palettes but this is the one that I go to pretty much every single day when I want to wear eyeshadow because I don't wear eyeshadow every day most of the time when I, I wear makeup I don't really wear eyeshadow and I'd quite like to get back into using it but sometimes it just feels quite heavy on my eyes. Moving on to more like beauty sort of stuff, I have a favourite perfume. Now if you didn't know I love Primark perfumes and I've recently, I recently bought this one and I've been absolutely loving it. I've been absolutely, I've absolutely, I've been absolutely loving it. I can't speak today. And it this is the Unicorn Kisses one and it was £2. So it's pretty cheap. And it's not the strongest perfume I own, but I still absolutely love it. It smells delightful. Next beauty favourite, Shower Gel. I actually got this for Christmas, I think. And this is Nature's Ingredients. Lemon Verbena for Benna shower gel. I have been using this and I've been absolutely loving it. It smells very lemony and it's just amazing. It's quite moisturising as well but obviously I still exfoliate and put a moisturiser on over this. Moving on to the last beauty favourite. I have wipes, makeup wipes. Now I know using makeup wipes is really bad for your skin but I have found that with a lot of makeup wipes, yes, they've been quite rough on my skin and they just do not feel good. Some of them are dry, some of them are just not easy to use. But these ones, these are Superdrug's own cleansing facial wipes for combination skin. 
I think the key thing here is a combination skin. I do have like some dry patches on my skin like I've mentioned with my nose before. So I find that these do really help. Obviously when I wear a full face of makeup like this, I don't just use makeup wipes, I do use micellar cleansing water as well to like remove my eyeshadow. These have just been the best wipes to me, for me, because they just really work for me. And I think it's because they're also quite like wet as well compared to wipes that I've had before where they've just like where they're just completely dry or not completely dry but they are not that wet uh, but these ones are quite wet moving on now if you've seen some of my vlogs or you haven't and you're new here then I you won't know this but I like using room spray to enhance my environment it's just something that I like to do as a writer um, it helps me to kind of like get in the mood get in the right zone and like start writing or if I'm editing I'll be editing or I've got a, a hair attached to my eyelash and it's gonna really bug me I like using room spray and the one I have been absolutely loving recently is this one from Primark and it's a really pretty ball as well so it's kind of another reason why I like it but it smells amazing so as I said I got this from Primark this was this is just wild peony and ylang ylang focus on this and it's a really pretty bottle I like the, the, I like the fact that it's like rose gold oh, it's got like rose gold bits in it and then it's got a bit pink and a bit of green and grey and a bit marble I just I, I love the design of this bottle and also I love the fact that it's square so some youtubers that I've absolutely been loving throughout April so two YouTubers I've absolutely been loving are Natalia Lee and Dr. Mike, both from the USA, I believe. Obviously would ha wouldn't have a clue what state they're from, but they are both from the US. The reason why I've been loving Natalia Lee's videos is because she is very calming. There's just something very calming about her videos and I absolutely love them. So whenever she uploads a video uploads a new video I'm like oh my god yes I can be calm and I can relax and watch her videos and the reason why I've been loving Dr. Mike's videos is because his channel is very informal and it's basically full of education and I am a massive sucker um, and very much in love with biology and the human body I love anything about the human body Give me a fact about it and I will think it's so interesting. Moving on, which I think will be the biggest part of this video. So in terms of music, April was actually the month where I started falling in love with music again. It's And the only thing I pretty much listen to is Panic at the Disco. And I have four song favourites of theirs. One is Hallelujah. The other is The Ballad of Mona Lisa. This is Gospel, the piano version. And House of Memories. I'm actually going to do a little singy thing here. But let's... Ooh, should I turn this on? And have a little jam on here. That might be a good idea. Let's do it. Yeah, I got God under the covers for second their lovers all to hide out from pretty young things. The state of emergency. Who are you trying to be? She paints her fingers with a close position. She starts to notice empty bottles for gin. It takes a moment to sense the sin she's paid for. Then I shouldn't be the criminal songs conspire against the odds But they haven't seen the best of us yet If you're a lover, you should know The only moments just get lonelier The longer you're in love And if you were alone What a reason to day Jesus become a taboo That is the end of this video if you enjoyed my little sing along at the end there let me know in the comments down below maybe just maybe I will do 
um, like a cover in the future. Also make sure to subscribe to see more of me if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!